the way out of the maze. Notice your beliefs. A belief is a thought that you trust is true. Don't believe everything you think. Sometimes facts are just how you see things. Let go of what isn't working. You can't launch a new quest with old baggage. Look outside the maze. Consider the unlikely. Explore the impossible. Choose a new belief. Changing what you think doesn't change who you are. There are no limits to what you can believe. You can do, experience, and enjoy a lot more than you think you can. As they sat on the grass, enjoying the sunlight and cool breeze, Ham thought again of his friend Ho. He'd be enjoying this all even more, he thought, if Ho were with them. You're thinking of Ho, said Hope. Ham nodded. As usual, she knew what he was thinking. He wondered how she did that. We have to go find him, she said. And your friends sniff and scurry too. Hem looked at her and nodded again. That's exactly what I was thinking, he said. All right, said Hope. She smiled at him. Let's go. They both stood up and Hope took Hem's hand once more when suddenly, Hem! Hem! Astonished at hearing his name being called in this unfamiliar place, Ham turned and stared at the figure striding briskly toward him. It was Ho! You're here! cried Ho as he embraced Ham and thumped him on the back with both hands. And so are you, said Ham. He glanced all around. And sniff and scurry? Ham laughed. Oh, you know them. They were the first ones out. But you, Ham, I was worried you'd never find your way out of the maze. I almost didn't, admitted Ham. I thought I was trapped in there. I thought I was going to die. He sighed. I was wrong, but I couldn't see it. I was stuck in my old beliefs. So what happened? said Ho quietly. Ham reflected for a moment. First, I got angry. Then, I got hungry. Then, I found hope. He turned to look at hope and smiled. Hope, this is. I'm very happy to meet you, Ho, said Hope as she shook Ho's hand. Charmed. Ho laughed and gave a little bow, then said to him, And after you found hope? Then I changed my mind. Ho gave a warm smile and embraced him once again. I've missed you, my friend. I'm so glad you found your way out of the maze. And I'm even happier that you found how to change your beliefs. Beliefs are powerful things, aren't they? said him. The three stood silently together, contemplating the awesome ability beliefs have to hold you down or to lift you up. And the thrilling discovery that you can change them and still be you. A thought occurred to him. Hang on a second. He fished in his pocket, took out an apple he'd had picked up, and offered it to Ho. Have you tried one of these? Ho nodded gleefully. Apples, he said. Love them. And they go really well with cheese, said the two friends in unison. Hope cocked her head. You know what, though? The two turned to look at her. I'll bet there are all kinds of other delicious things to eat here, she said. Things we've never thought of before. Things we've never even imagined. Ham and Ho looked at each other. Was that possible? Of course it was. And the three set off to explore. The end. Or is it another beginning?